Hello, Shamai, and welcome to uh, Bitcoin Coffee Break. Just a short show in which we have a quick look at the Bitcoin price and then some of the other markets may be affecting it. Um, so, Bitcoin's up again. Um, uh, it's up to uh, 7,321, um, up by 2.6%. It's at a high of 7,448 and a low, a low of 6,950. Um, if we zoom in on the chart there, I mean, obviously, you know, on a, a is this the six monthly? It's not quite the six monthly, is it? Yeah, on the six monthly here, we can see uh, we're popping out of that cup and handle formation, um, and we're, we're we're taking some pretty bold leaps upwards. Um, we also had this uh, three rising valleys formation here, which we seem to be popping out of too. So all looking very bullish, we're going parabolic, as they say. Um, let's zoom in a little bit here now. Uh, we have dipped just a little bit here, but then, you know, even on a shorter time frame here, we've got these three little valleys popping here. Not that you should ever trade on a short time frame. So what's happening in the news feed? Um, uh, blah, blah, blah. The Bitcoin feed price keeps surging. We've got some of the potential catalysts. So it's just, a lot of it's just FOMO, um, bull run uh, articles. Uh, Bitcoin price crossed to 7,500 to establish fresh 2019 high. Uh, it was butting up against the, the sort of 7,000 mark for a little while, but then it, it, it just, you know, managed to smash through it. Uh, Bitcoin is 11 times faster than Litecoin, new data reveals. Oh, sorry, sorry about that, Litecoin. Uh, Bitcoin jumps 30% uh, for the week as the Dow Jones declines. So, you know, this is the, the, the news, the Dow Jones declining on the the um, haziness over the, the, the US-China trade deal. Um, Bitcoin worth 356 million was moved by two separate wallets. So yeah, the whales are moving. Um, uh, the whales are very much moving their funds around to, to help get involved in this uh, in this um, bull run. So yeah, so a, a lot of positive, uh, a lot of positive uh, news reports there. Let's see how Litecoin's doing. I imagine he's up because um, we've got the Magical Crypto Conference going on at the moment. Yeah, it's up by 2%. Um, also, you know, uh, grabbing the heels of Bitcoin as that climbs uh, to $88. It's had a high of $92 and a, a low of $83. Um, and uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's jumped out of its uh, ascending triangle and um, it's sort of bouncing about the the the, the the region in which it's in now the sort of 88 to 88 dollar region here uh, but i imagine it'll it'll start climbing again soon uh so xmr uh, monero let's have a look at monero so monero is doing well that's at 78 dollars oh no it's not doing well it's down down two percent um uh it, it's at 78 dollars uh it was at, uh, with a high of 82 dollars a low of 77 dollars um uh let's have a look at gold uh gold um it's again it's just sort of hovering at the same range it's up by a tiny fraction um but it's at the sort of 1300 dollar range um i've got a gold bug friend who i was in contact with um on whatsapp uh, yesterday and he swears that the price has been manipulated around uh, 1300 so a lot of the gold books think the price has been manipulated around 1300 so um, um we have no way of proving proving one way or another but i think that the the, the, the general feeling is that that gold is is undervalued um by that community and they think it should it should go up particularly with the uncertainty um in the traditional markets um uh so um or the choppiness of the traditional markets should i say uh, there's very colorful markets out there at the moment um so the s p 500 index uh it's it's trying to make its way back up into its channel um we have got a bit of a, a sort of a, a, a declining arc thing going on here and we have popped through the bottom of that channel and that's because of the the us um china uh, trade agreement thing trump warns uh china to act on us trade deal or face worse terms so there's a lot of sort of standing off between the the, the two countries at the moment um uh, uh so yeah, Uber's IPO was the fifth worst over the past quarter century by by this measure. So this is the, the story in which um, Uber um, should have been worth a lot more in its IPO um, uh, than it was, but uh, it, it really did fail. Um, here's how hard the escalating tariff fight might hit the economy. So the US-China 
trade splat is set to intensify as Trump administration plans to more than double tariffs on 200 billion of Chinese imports and extend levels of other blah blah blah. So yeah, so that's that's escalating. Um, we've already done Bitcoin, so I'll get rid of that. Let's have a look at the Bitcoin Reddit, see see what the general atmosphere is in the community. Well, uh, pinned at the top there is PSA, um, don't invest recklessly. So absolutely, in this sort of bull market when people are making huge percentages on their on their on their bags um it's very tempting to sell everything you own and then pour it all into bitcoin but you know take heed from those who did that when the price was at nineteen hundred dollars it can easily reverse and go down and um um you know n n no one predicted that 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 reversal um uh, happening so just just be careful what you do with your money don't invest more than you you're willing to lose bitcoin is still a highly volatile and risky investment so it should be a small part of your portfolio if you do insist on making a large part of your portfolio keep those funds safe um and and just yeah just be careful out there just be careful out there don't get too uh, excited don't just quit your job and you know just have bitcoin crash tomorrow and then you'll be you know begging to get your job back um so bitcoin price has surged a thousand dollars in less than 48 hours hitting seven thousand dollars that is pretty pretty impressive stuff isn't it um doing 30 push-ups every time bitcoin goes up a hundred dollars that's a good idea that's a good idea that guy, that guy's gonna get pretty buff i think um so yeah everyone's excited they're enjoying the ball run and fair enough let them enjoy it because you know we've had plenty of bare time so i think it's time we, we enjoy a little bit of upside eh? some news articles uh just a couple of bullish news articles here uh bulls now target eight thousand dollars which you know if we're able to do a thousand dollars in twenty four hours, I can't see why that wouldn't be smashed. And I think we're we're on our way to um, nine thousand, which is uh, waiting for the memes to come out. Should be good. My Novogratz, what's he up to? Fat stacks Novogratz. Reb three point zero will change the world, not Bitcoin. So um, he's under the illusion that that Bitcoin. Well, I mean, he thinks. Sorry, I should say, I shouldn't be too, too biased. Um, he thinks that that Bitcoin uh, would just be used for for value transfer and uh, as a, a store of wealth, um, as opposed to being used for other other purposes too. And he thinks that um, Web three point zero um, is probably going to be based on on something um, which is easier to write sort of smart contracts in, something like Ethereum, for example. Um, which is fair enough. He's entitled to his opinion, but I think he's he's a bit maybe a little bit too bullish, shall we say, on on uh, on some of this technology's ability to to be implemented into absolutely in every industry. Uh, I saw him in one interview, he said that every database we currently use will be replaced by a blockchain. And I think that's probably a, getting a little bit carried away. Um, but you know, we all like fast stacks and overgrats and he's bullish on Bitcoin. Uh, I think it's going to be up to 20 grand in the next 18 months. Um, and uh, uh, yeah, he's, you know, he's, 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 he, he gets excited by new technology. So we'll, yeah, that's, this is fair. Um, so Bitcoin worth, yeah, this is, we just spoke about this in the news feed on Trading View. Um, so the whales are moving uh, 48,000 Bitcoin, I think it is. Yeah, 48,000 Bitcoin was removed um, between accounts. Um, uh, so, you know, with a, 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 a uh, so, 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 yeah, the, the, the big, the big guys are getting involved, which again, you know, those whales don't move their funds for no reason. So, um um, I think it's safe to say that this ball will continue for a little bit longer. I just want to give a little shout out to uh, uh, Ricardo Fluffy Pony. Um, obviously, the Magical Crypto Conference is going on at the moment. And uh, if you can check out the videos on YouTube, there are really some really fantastic um, uh, topics being discussed there. Uh, really excellent. Um, I'm not quite sure why um, uh, Fluffy Pony is not able to be there. I think there's something to do with um, restrictions on um, his wine consumption. Maybe they don't want him to. They're not allowing him over the U.S. Uh, uh, to cross into U.S. territory, so so yeah, so so I think he's there by proxy, um, by this uh, little photo thing here, photo frame here. But the Magical Crypto Conference is turning out to be a really fantastic conference, and I'm absolutely gutted I didn't uh, 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 go along to it. But um, good luck to them. I really look forward to watching the rest of the videos on YouTube, and um, that's about it for today. And I'll see you tomorrow. And um, yeah, have a good uh, have a good Sunday.